Wow, at Barmia have been making machine tools for 70 years. They started with turning machines, but we're looking today at the T-Series machine. It's a completely different machine to what you started off making a long time ago, Alifar. Yeah. What kind of machine is it? Yeah, this is a machining center, five axis machining center. Uh, the first model of this kind of machine was done in the year 2011, so it's not new, let's say. Uh, some of the customers were looking for a high production uh, machining center in five axis, but working for cubic parts. So this was the beginning of this model, which is a general standard, let's say. The five axis uh, machining center is uh, quite the standard. But uh, in our region and in our company, we are more focused in, uh, in the big size machining center. So our product range is starting in this kind of machine in 1.2 meters swiveling and we can go up to 3.6 meters. So this is why our small machine is uh, quite big, actually. Yeah, absolutely. It's a massive diameter size, you, uh, right. capacity you can reach on the bigger yeah, machines. Yeah, yeah. But the machine envelope you've been trying to reduce to try and reduce the size, uh, the increase the number of machines you could get on the workshop. Yeah. But what I found fascinating is you just told me that off, uh, off camera, the spindle head is absolutely massive because you make heavy duty machine tools. Yeah, yeah. If you made the spindle head any smaller, yeah. It wouldn't be able to handle that. Why do you make heavy duty machine tools and how heavy duty are they really? Um, that is our, our tradition and our spirit. We want to have always uh, high performance machines, let's say. So there are some other manufacturers that are uh, focused in having smaller machines. Uh, in our case, we are in the heavy duty, not only for this application, also for other kind of machines. So Absolutely. And here at the Obamia Open House, we've been seeing some machining demonstrations today, and there was some swarf absolutely flying off the yeah, material. Yeah. This is a hardened steel block. Yeah, yeah. The swarf was absolutely flying off. You were using really heavy milling um, yeah. with some fine finishing as well. Now, can the machine do, I mean, when you do heavy roughing, normally yeah. we take it onto a different kind of machine to do the yeah. fine finishing. How would you suggest your customers attack a component like this? When you have the right, uh, the right balance between the performance of the machine and the design, you can do roughing and finishing. In our case, we were sh today making some big chips to show the, cast the customers and the visitors coming today uh, that the machine is able to, to, be to make big chips, let's say. Uh, of course, in the other cutting trials that you have seen, you, can, you have seen that also we can do some fine, fine milling operations. To do, a, to do a very good roughness surfaces. So uh, we wanted to show the power of the machine, also the dynamic of the machine. And uh, in the cutting trials that we have been doing, you have seen that the machine was able to, to go very strong in cutting, but also very smooth in doing five axis. Absolutely, dynamics is really important, heavy cutting to reduce the yeah. vibration. Yeah. Let's now talk about the applications for the customers. Now your customers, they're generally kind of oil and gas parts, um, ones and twos offs. What are the challenges with doing these kinds of components? Uh, for especially in this kind of machine, uh, we have two main groups of com of customers, but mainly are focused to, to are related to, to one um, one industry, one particular industry. Especially, this machine is focused in the energy sector. Uh, it can be doing works for uh, aeronautics but in aeronautics uh, is more popular between uh, subcontractors, no, not by other companies. And uh, I will say that in general machining, uh, when you do your own production for any kind of machine, you, you, you need to produce a lot of parts, repetitive parts, and this machine is particularly good because you can have uh, uh, the possibility of automation as well. So with automation, as you know, you lose no time changing parts, and this machine is very flexible to be automated. Absolutely, there's lots of different options. You can have, uh, there, are, there are two clear options for people to choose from whether they want to invest a lot in automation or invest a little bit in automation. What are those options? Yeah. Uh, we can invest nothing, so you can buy, buy the machine naked like this without any pallet changer. Don't look but, so naked right now. <laughs> but um, we can have a roto pallet, roto pallet with just, uh, then the operator will load one part while the machine is working in the other side. And we can have also pallet pools or any, any kind of different option the customers want to have. Also, we have semi-automatic pallet changers or uh, manual pallet changers with uh, some ways to, uh, to have an easy, ch fast change of part, let's say. So there are multiple options. The automation lately is becoming more and more important. That's why I was saying before, having an optimized footprint is important because uh, you can take no compromise on the layout, let's say. You, you should be very flexible. And the smaller the machine is compared to the working volume is an advantage for the customer. 
Absolutely. It's so important to try it with, with long cycle times on big parts like this, try and make you mo most use of that time out of hours, out of shift during a weekend running, and it helps yeah. keeping your customers competitive. What do they say about a machine like the T12? Um, I would like to, to highlight one of the options uh, or let's say one of the possibilities that our machines give and is uh, the customization. So we are particularly good in, automa in, in um, adapting our machines to the customer needs, not only for the T12 but in any kind of machine. So many times the discussion of the cast with the customer can start with a catalog but we'll continue in a, with a white page, let's say, where we design together with the customer what, what do they need. So, in our case, we can, um, we can uh, have a lot of different options for automation of the parts, but also a lot of different options for the tools, for example. Uh, so in, when it comes to the tools, uh, we can have uh, not only special tools, but also special additional heads for doing boring operations, for having even an extra U axis, for example, uh, boring, boring lines, and whatever that the customer needs, as far as uh, if there is technically feasible, we will make it happen, but also in an automatic way. So you can add all these features uh, without losing time doing manual tool changes and all these things. Absolutely. So a heavy duty machine with automation and it's flexible. You can get a bespoke machine right here from Embarmia.